When professional players, you know, succumb or suddenly collapse during a match in a very physical and high-intensity game like football, the most there a number of things could be responsible. Most of the time, the problems have to do with the heart. There has been either an undetected heart defect or a heart defect that has been in treatment, but the treatment has not been properly controlled or modulated, and uh, or maybe a drug overdose, you know, either for that particular treatment or drug related to some other uh, need that the player may have used. It's actually surprising that you would have a situation where people who look very fit and engage in exercises almost on a daily basis. Uh, a football player, for instance, who enjoys playing the game, plays the game as a professional, you know, would suddenly fall down and die. Now, it requires a carefully organized medical program to distinguish between healthy players and fit players. Kanu Wankwo was a very fit player, but who would have known that Kanu Wankwo had a health problem that was a big and huge heart problem that almost cost him his life. In third world countries, in a number of countries in Asia, and you know, expectedly so in many East European countries, the standards of health care are not at the same level as they are in Western Europe. A player who has come from Africa, okay, may not have given the entire story. And then he's fit sometimes. They love this. If the full health records of those players are not available to the clubs. Even if they are available to the clubs, not all these clubs have all the facilities to be able to manage them properly. What exactly can be done to prevent this situation from happening? You know, to, to check the recurrence of this incident. Review all the laws regarding assessment, pre-match assessment of players. And in, reversing, in, re, in, in reviewing those laws, raise the standards so as to catch whatever it is. And once you raise those standards, then insist that clubs, officials follow this to the letter. And anybody or any team that, is, that, that, does, not, that does not follow the rules is penalized. Because when people have stiff penalties, then you can ensure compliance.